Hi guys, hope you're all okay. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me today. I wanted to do a bit of a different video and talk about walkie talkies today, something I've not really done on this channel before. And these are the Bofeng BF T3 walkie talkies, and they seem to be flooding the market lately um, on all the eBay and Amazon sellers are selling these. And I just wanted to do a bit of a review on them today, talk about what you get in the packet, how to set them up, how to use them, and then the potential legalities of using these in your country. I did a little bit of digging with a frequency counter and um, found out what these are actually transmitting on and they may or may not be legal to use depending on where you are. So what we'll do is we'll bring the camera closer in, I'll go through the functions and the settings and show you how to basically use these and then I'll talk about the legal side of using these radios. Okay, so you can see the little bubble pack that these come in, um, quite colourful. I've got these in yellow and they actually cost around £6 delivered from China which I thought was was a bargain compared to what you can pay for some sets of walkie talkies so nothing really out of the ordinary on the front there I'll go through the radios in a second if we just look at the back we've got some specifications here so built-in flashlight um, each channel with 38 priority codes so privacy codes 10 call tones a backlight display torque confirmation tone monitor auto squelch keypad tones keypad lock battery save audible low-level battery alert, hands-free communication without the need for an audio accessory so they don't need a microphone or anything like that um, so yeah that's sort of the basic um, packaging that these radios come in so if we open them up you can see each of the radios is inside and they're quite a nice little build um, they feel quite sturdy just like you would expect from a pair of cheap walkie-talkies and of course you get two in the packet and then in the bottom here we've got the operating instructions so you can see the radios there as I say built reasonably well they don't feel cheap and nasty and um, despite the price they, they look okay we've got a lamp button there we've got a scan button we've got the up and down switch which goes through the settings and volume and channels we've got a call button there monitor button to open the squelch the menu button a power button and then of course the PTT so there's no side PTT on these it's just on the front so you would hold them like that and press to talk we've got the attached little stubby antenna on there for UHF we've got a speaker mic socket on the top there which is just a little tiny jack and then we've got the obligatory Bofeng um, flashlight on the top there belt clip on the back so they take four AAA batteries and to insert them all you do is take the belt clip off the back take the little battery compartment off and you can see the batteries just go into the back like this they don't come with a rechargeable battery pack like other Bofeng radios they are more standard like the other PMR sets and just take double or AAA batteries and in this case it is triple so they just go in like so put your battery compartment cover back on just clips into place and then your belt clip goes on the back and the radios um, come on okay so operation on these is really really simple I'm just going to go through the menus and the setup on um, these radios now just to show you uh, the basic operation so to turn the radio on you just press and hold the on button there and it'll come to life uh, to adjust the volume you press the up or down buttons there and you can see the volume indicator on the screen so that's um, really really simple we've got the battery level indicator there um, and we've got the little transmit and receive indicator there that looks like a little radio mast so there's two ways to contact somebody on these you can press the call button like this and that'll call to any other radios on the channel or you can press the PTT and talk and it's as simple as that to change the channel you press the menu button once and you can go through the different channels using the up and down buttons and if I press the menu button twice you can see the word off there is flashing if you press up and down on these it will select between the 38 CTCSS tones so these range between 67 Hertz and 250 Hertz and you can select these for a bit more privacy so if you've got a, um, a CTCSS tone off 
then you can hear any signals coming in. If you set a CTCSS tone between 1 and 38 and you do that on both radios, there's less chance of someone interrupting you unless they're on the same CTSS tone. This doesn't make it private, that doesn't mean no one can hear you and no one can butt in. Um, it just means there's less, channel, less chance of receiving unwanted signals um, on a particular channel. The monitor button here, if you press that, it opens the squelch which means you can hear weaker signals with the squelch open and with the squelch off like it is now you'll only hear um, stronger signals so that's the similar um, situation to any other radio really. And if we press the menu button three times we've got Vox there you can see that is turned off and we can set the Vox level there between one, two, three or off and that is basically voice activated transmission so similar to any other radio that supports Vox if you have it set to one, two or three it will key up depending on the level of audio you input into the microphone so basically if you've got it set on three it'll take more audio to key up if you've got it set on one it'll be easier to key up and that basically means that you can just talk into the radio and it will transmit automatically without pressing the PTT okay these radios also scan so by pressing the scan button there we can go up the channels or down the channels and that's really straightforward as well and if we press the menu button four times we've got call so you've got different call tones there so you can alert a radio so if you have a few radios in the group you can assign each one a call tone so you know who's calling and they're really annoying but like before as I said you just press your call tone there and that will call the other radio and they'll be able to hear that tone and identify that it's you. If we press the menu button five times we've got the button tone which turns the beep on or off so as you can see now we can't hear anything when we press these buttons and if we press the button six times We've got RO, which turns the Roger beep on or off. So when your PTT is pressed, it'll have a little Roger beep. You can turn that on or off. If we press and hold the menu button like this, that locks the keypad. You can see the little um, key has appeared there. And if we press it and hold it again, that'll take the key lock off. So that's handy if you've got kids, they can't change the channel. All they can do is um, use the push to talk. And when you press a button, the LCD backlight will come on for around five seconds and then it will go off. And lastly, when the radio has not been used for, for six seconds, it will activate the battery saving function. So it will sort of put it into a standby and only run what it needs to run, i.e. the receiver and the backlight will be off. And that will help preserve the batteries because they run on AAA batteries. It, they can be expensive to run if you don't have rechargeables because, of course, when they run out, you've got to buy new ones. And then the lamp button here activates the flashlight on and off there's no flashing flashlight on this and it's not the best but it's handy for finding keys if you're lucky <laughs> yeah so that's the flashlight so that's a basic overview of the settings and how to use this radio okay so not a bad little set of radios actually when you look into them they seem to have all the basic functions that you would need out of a set of walkie talkies and really handy for children um, the only snag is, and I found this when I turned them on, these were advertised as PMR and legal to use in the UK from the seller I got them off, but they're not. They actually run on the GMRS and FRS frequencies. So FRS is free radio service and GMRS is the general mobile radio service and these are land mobile FM UHF radio frequencies allocated for two-way communications in the United States. So they are not allowed to be used in the UK which is a shame and a lot of people buy these not knowing this so FRS and GMRS runs on the 22 frequencies that you can see on the screen here and that is what is programmed into these walkie talkies and of course you can't change the programming in the walkie talkies so that is a bit of an issue um, the reality is is if you bought them and used them you probably wouldn't get caught and no one would ever know but they are right in the middle of the UK um, land mobile, mobile and base PMR allocation for UHF so you could be trampling all over um, business frequencies, repeaters for taxis um, all sorts of things because of where they operate on now you're not going to get very far with these the range will be very low they actually only output around 0.5 watts or 500 milliwatts 
so you're unlikely to cause any interference at all but the technicality is, is that they're not legal to be used in the UK. So it's actually a good job I picked up the frequency counter and decided to investigate what these were actually on and I only did that because I noticed they had 22 channels. I did think maybe they were PMR channels with some presets in for CTCSS but they're not, they are purely FRS and GMR, GMRS channels. Um, the UK allocation for this type of radio is PMR446 and the clue is in the name, they operate on 446 MHz over 16 channels. So just be careful when buying these radios guys, they are not legal to use in the UK as they don't transmit on the correct frequencies, they transmit over a range of 22 frequencies across the UK UHF um, allocation for PMR. Nevertheless, the chances of getting caught are very, very slim and these are a great value radio. As I say, £6 delivered. I've seen them for 6 to £8 pounds, um, delivered on eBay and Amazon, so it's up to you whether you use them or not. They are a bargain, they are handy for kids and they are very, very low powered devices. So what we'll do is we'll go to around a mile away and we'll transmit back home and see what the audio quality sounds like on these radios. Okay, this is a test of the Bofeng BFT3 at one mile, one mile, one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. A test of the Bofeng BFT3 at one mile, one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Over. Okay, so we were a mile away there guys, and as you can see, the audio sounds um, absolutely fine. The signal quality was fine um, at such a short distance. Um, the distance between where I was and the base station was a mile over flatland, of course, terrain and other um, different factors affect the signal on um, radios, but I'm quite happy with that really. It's just a shame I'm not going to really be using them because, as I say, they are on the wrong frequencies. Okay, so we'll leave that one there guys. I just thought I'd show you a quick little review and demo of the Bofeng BFT3. Any questions, comments or feedback, drop them in the box below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks very much for watching guys. 7-3 for now.